Hey, hi folks. County Line Gardener back with you. Uh, gonna do a video today about spraying for bugs. Now I'm just gonna do the potatoes, but this, folks, this goes for everything. Everything uh, you got in the garden. Uh, here's what I use. It's a little 15 gallon sprayer. Uh, it's got a little pump on it. it. Does a fine job. Does a fine job. Here's the handle wand that goes with it and all that. And holds 15 gallons, like I said. I put this little, uh, let's see if you can see it, this little thing here on it, for the garden hose to fill it up with water. And uh, it works like a champ. It works great. And if as you can tell, I've got it really well displayed that it is bug spray and I'll tell you why. <laughs> this right sitting right over here is one just like it. And this one's for the weed poison, as you can tell. As you can tell. They're about a year apart, but they're the same thing. And they're so easy to get mixed up if you're not careful. So easy to get mixed up if you're not careful. And that could just that could just be awful. That could be awful. Well, I've got so much that I can't use the pump sprayer, you know, the hand pump sprayer uh, in my garden. I, I've tried it and it just kills me. It just wears you out. But here's what I use to spray with. Um, seven dust, or well, seven, concentrate bug killer, okay? Okay, it comes in a gallon jug. As you can see, I'm well prepared here. Now I've got, here's another one, here's the same thing. Uh, this one's new, it hasn't been used yet. Now there's two here that have sprayers on them that you can use, you know, if you want to walk and spray, which I don't. I leave that up to other people. And here, here's the old good, the old standby people use is seven dust. Now I've used that, I used that for years, years and years. I get that, I pick that up for $10 for the three of them, and, uh, but this concentrate's not cheap. Uh, but not by my standards anyway. It's about $42 at the local uh, farm and country store we have here in uh, Lawrence County. Uh, we're in southern Indiana. But uh, uh, the way I do this is it takes one and a half ounces per gallon, okay? One and a half ounces per gallon, uh, and you mix it with water. And I don't have my, I don't have my uh, thing here in my cup, my measuring cup, but anyway. So I'll mix up a batch. I'm, 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 I'll mix it up a little stronger too. Uh, then that uh, let's see for 10 gallon what would that be 12 13 14 ounces of it I'll, I'll put almost 20 in it I like it a little stronger now there's a reason for that uh, in case it rains or anything like it that's why I don't use seven dust anymore I have dusted for the last time every time I dust it seems like it rains that night and uh, and it's a waste of time just a waste of time so we're going to, I'm going to take you up to the garden and uh, show you how I do it. And uh, that'll be it. It's getting awful hot here in southern Indiana and it's about 90 degrees right now. It's rained and rained and rained here for the last, it's rained for the last four days. But before that it was almost two weeks before we had any rain. And I was getting, I was getting concerned on the garden. It was uh, I was trying to keep up with watering it as best I could. I got a 35 gallon tank that I, I put in the back of the old golf car and uh, I kind of can't hardly keep up with it. It takes two, two, about 200 gallons to do that entire garden, especially now. I'll show you when we, we get down here. Uh, well, I may just save that for another video, but I've started a, started a blackberry patch. We'll just show you from the road here, from the back porch here walk back here to the back porch and you can see it pretty good this was at one time that was the old garden 
and if you'll recall in some of my videos I moved it up there on the hill that's where we're going to go now but uh, this garden we let it grow grow back to grass and it was awful rough awful rough hard to hard to mow and I'm wanting to grow back blackberries and sell them you pick a uh, uh, variety and this would this would be just perfect for that if I have to I can put I can run a drip line down there and run it through there I'm not that far from the house there about 200 feet but anyway uh, that's that's the my blackberry patch if you want to call it that it's a hundred by a hundred and uh, we're gonna see how that works so uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna get up to the garden now and you folks hang on and I'll be right back okay bye bye go hi folks this is the candy line gardener bag I wanna show you show you here how I do this my wife's driving the, the cart up there as you can tell I've got the nozzle set at 45 degrees that way I can get underneath the plant that's where they lay their eggs them uh, Colorado potato bugs just spray them very liberally and get the ground get the ground around them if you don't, well, they'll come back. Oh, they'll come back anyway. <laughs> damnedest things I, excuse me, damnedest things I ever seen to kill. Okay, that's good for a minute. Uh, getting ready to rain again here in southern Indiana. But uh, I'm not going to do every row. We got. 15 rows here. Like I said in the other video, this is the only plant I have running east and west. And that's because up here, as you can tell by the lay of the land, by the lay of the land, it's going downhill. And that's just about all there is to it. Okay, we do this. Okay, all right. I'm gonna cut this off now that you've seen how I do it, and we'll we'll go every other row, and that way I can get both sides at the same time, and it works. And I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, bye bye. Hi folks, I'm back again, uh, back in the shop. I'm going in the house. It is hot out here. It is really hot. But I just wanted to show you how we spray them bugs. Here, here's the key, I think. Last year they eat up my pat my 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 potato patch, if you if you can recall the video. Uh, where I used to get nine bushel. Same same amount of rows last year, same length of rows. Last year I got maybe three bushel maybe three or four because of the bugs they killed all the plants and uh, so I moved them I moved them a uh, quarter mile at least I got I got the land here and I, I moved them over here near the house in the big garden and uh, it didn't help they <laughs> they they're over here too you can't get away from them. All you can do is try to control them. Now I'm talking about the Colorado potato bug. Uh, but I think I've got a handle on it now. I have to spray. I have to spray once a week. We spray here every Saturday morning. First thing. Uh, the potatoes. Now everything else is okay. I don't spray everything that often. But I'm spraying the potatoes every single Saturday morning now uh, like I said this is a concentrate this is a concentrate so it doesn't take a great deal of it you know and the sprayer I got in the golf car makes it easy makes it easy but I think that's the whole uh, the whole deal 
the whole deal is is doing them every week and plug gas so it doesn't come on there's another little thing little tidbit i've learned i've had these sprayers before the good little sprayers good little sprayers but i bought one new one last year and this is the second time this has happened i went to use it this year and it started leaking down here on this plastic handle split all the way up and down and it wasn't frozen what had happened so after i got done using this thing i didn't spray it anymore of course so i'm gonna you got to release the pressure that's what i'm basically getting to here release the pressure and then pull down on this little lever here that locks it open locks it open so there's no pressure now in that line anywhere especially in that little flimsy handle which is probably the only part of the whole out outfit that I don't like. I mean, for the money, it was it was sixty bucks, fifty nine ninety nine, and that ain't bad. You can buy this handle. You can buy this handle for nineteen ninety nine, I think, something like that. But uh, if you leave that, if you keep this in the open position, as you notice, it is right now you won't have a problem because even even that little sprayer that little pump puts enough enough pressure in that line by golly that it it splits it it's got to go somewhere so it splits that plastic right there which i guess is the weakest link but i've rambled on enough here it's getting hot out here i'm going in the house i'm going in the house i'm going to take a shower and relax Got a grandson coming up tonight. It's his birthday. You want to enjoy a night with him. Um, folks, uh, hope you're having fun and enjoying having good luck with your gardens. Mine is really, really doing well. Uh, the rain, we got this. It, it, it couldn't have come any sooner. <laughs> it was. We was getting worried. We was getting really worried. It takes an awful lot to water that garden up there if you do it with the tank. So, uh, anyway, like I said, everything's looking good here. Uh, I even got some eggplants growing this year. That's something I can't grow very well at all, is eggplants. So, uh, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go in the house, take a shower, cool off. Uh, so uh, for now, like I said, uh, have a lot of luck with your gardens. It's the County Line Gardener saying bye-bye.